everyone, it's Allie here today and I'm going to teach you how to make my fried rice, bacon fried rice, and you guys can feel free to substitute things if you don't want bacon, if you want it to be vegetarian or vegan, you just interchange everything. But today I'm going to teach you guys how to make mine with bacon. Let's go make some fried rice. So what fried rice is essentially is you using all your leftovers with leftover rice, you don't know what to do with it, but I usually don't have leftover rice because I have to pre-make mine for fried rice. I pre-plan it a bit. So here's the leftover rice, and if you guys want to know how to learn how to make it, uh, boiling rice, I will teach you guys. You guys have to just find the link down below. I'll link it in the comment section. We're going to need eggs. I think because I have a huge tub of rice over here. We are going to, um, I guess four eggs will do, but it is a lot of rice. I might just put five. We're going to have five eggs, but usually if you have a normal amount of rice, which I don't, I have a lot of leftover rice for this purpose, I'm going to use like five. I like to use a mix of butter and another oil, and here is bacon. I also like to put some cheese at the end, but we're gonna worry about this first. Let's have this, and we're gonna have this butter, and we need some vegetables. Um, we have some spinach here, like, and lettuce. I can technically use up all this lettuce, which wouldn't be that bad. Mm, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get this leftover lettuce in there. I know I have like a huge pile. Then we're going to have some onion that we have ready. And I think we have some frozen vegetables. These are really good. I don't think it's this one. Yeah. Frozen peas, carrots, you can use canned uh, fresh if you want, but I am really lazy. And then this says Amerikansk blending, I guess, American blend. blend? <laughs> so what I like to do is get everything prepared. So. We don't have to worry about this. We'll set them aside, but that's the first thing we're cooking because it's frozen. Um, and the one thing is you don't want to add too much, I guess, water or make your rice wet because I like my rice a bit more dry. And we will, I guess we'll set aside the five eggs first. So we got our two boxes. One, two, three, four. We'll set it aside, get rid of this box. We'll just need one more. One more. Okay. Now we got our eggs, and we will bring out the chopping board to chop up stuff. So I just found this, so we're going to be chopping up, I guess this is their version of Spam. So we're going to have this as well. Since we need to use this, but yeah, fried rice is all about using what you have in your uh, fridge and whatever's in your cupboard that you want to put all together. All right, so let's prep this up. I usually have bowls on the side so I can put them all together and you dump it into the fried rice once you start uh, everything going. Getting my knife. This is a huge knife. We're gonna chop everything really finely, finely sized stuff because you're thinking about a person who's eating and Usually with fried rice, everything's bite-sized, so you can eat it in a spoonful. Um, I think lettuce goes really well with fried rice. I like having like different textures, and then we're going to dice it again. Let me just throw this out. And then we're going to go like this. I am by no means a chef. I'm gonna dice it on my way and we'll call it a day. Also, don't forget before starting this, always clean your countertops so you don't have to worry about 
things go flying anywhere because everything's been cleaned up. All right. Now we take this and put it into the bowl. And of course, wash your hands. I think having garlic is really good too. And if you don't have fresh garlic, use garlic powder. I always have garlic powder just in case I forget to get that. So I don't know if I have that at all. All right, next. I guess this. Onion. I like to cut the edges off first. And then this side. And then you peel off the outer ring. Well, it's easier if I cut it in half. Because there is one more layer that you're supposed to get rid of. Okay. Get rid of this outside layer. Oof. And then we're going to go to the top. Clean up your space. My eyes don't tear up. Oh. I'm gonna dice it again. I mean, feel free to substitute anything you want in it. And if you don't have onions, don't need to use onions. I think it's really good to have peppers. Oh, I love peppers in this as well. Yeah, by no means you know I don't, I'm not a professional cook, I, can't, I don't know how to cut this the professional way, but this works for me, especially when I'm cooking home. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like hitting the camera, so I'm shaking a bit, I have to be more careful. Just making sure some of these things are bite-sized. And we can toss it in with the vegetables. The onion -y smell is super strong right now. Alright, let's be careful. Let's try to guide the onion down here. Spilling everywhere. There you go. We have some leftover bits. Uh, we are going to now cut up the spam. This is going to be interesting. I've never opened a can like this. Um, I guess we will figure it out. If you guys are wondering what language this is in, this is in Norwegian. And I guess we break it open and then you pull back. Oh, it's working. Cool. <laughs> kind of. Okay. Hopefully this entire can peels out. Open a can 101. Okay, I think we can just, if it's like spam, kind of do this and go like this. <laughs> oh, that worked. My spam knowledge came to use. Whoa, that looks so weird. We're gonna have to trust it. I'm gonna sniff it. This definitely reminds me of spam. Alright. I'm gonna cut it into small chunks. It's really hard to do it evenly. <laughs> oh my god, the thing sticks to the knife. So 
let it push it off. I don't know. I know some people aren't a fan of spam. Um, I like it in uh, every so often. In Hawaii, in Hawaiian culture, they use spam a lot, which is cool. For some reason, my mom made spam for me too, like spam, fried spam, egg, and rice. Um, at the time when I was a kid, I was like, oh, so what we eat only in a when I grow up, grown up, and people talk about different cultures and cuisines. I find out Hawaii has like dish with spam and stuff, and then there's also spam, spam sushi, musubi. Changed my life. I love musubi. I would like to dice it one more way, but I think. I don't think I want to cut it any more smaller than this. It looks dangerous to try to cut it that small. I mean, I, I can try. I do like having everything bite size. This will definitely flavor the rice. It will give it some salt content if it's like spam. All right, we're, we're going to try. We're going to try to cut it a little bit. It'll look super uneven, but at least it's bite sized, right? Also, is anybody getting allergies right now or have allergy issues because the springtime is approaching? I took my pills a few minutes ago. So I don't know when it's going to kick in. Alright, let's get this into a bowl. I like having things in bowl because you're going to have to pour it into the pan when you're ready. So you want to quickly put it in. So having them in bowls prepared. <laughs> that was my dog super good. I like to prepare everything so you don't have to do anything with the chopping board anymore. So put your heat to medium. And I get it down to six. Five, six is good. So that's a little bit above medium. Um, so definitely first cook your frozen stuff first. I'm going to get the spatula to cook. I'm going to use butter for this, and if you're doing what I am doing, having a big, 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 big thing of frozen vegetables so you don't have to cut too much stuff, um, prepare this bowl on the side to put it in so it can rest while you cook other things, and you'll see why. I like to do things in increments just to make sure the rice doesn't get too wet again. If you like it like that, then that's different, and if you're impatient... <laughs> I can understand why too. So we're going to have to melt this butter. And then what you can do is when we put in the frozen piece, you can put this cover on and it'll steam and cook everything in the pan evenly. Just spread this around. Okay. I'm using all of this since I have so much rice. Also, some people like to have more protein and veg in their fried rice, so there might not be that much rice either. Let's see. I also wish I had a bigger pan. I wish I had a huge wok. Because you'll see what I mean. It's going to be crazy looking. You can also feel free to make a vegan vegetarian version, I told, as I mentioned. I told you guys, this is interchangeable. This is your fried rice. Once you watch this and understand how to make it. I would just move it around just so the butter can kind of coat some of it.
I would say definitely keep an eye on this pan. I'm going to put this on. Um, I'm going to come back in 10 minutes. I think this usually takes like 17 minutes to make on medium with a well, medium slight above medium. So I'll be back in 10 minutes to check up on it. If you're really paranoid, the best increment I can tell you is checking things in every five minutes. It's been five minutes. I still see that it is definitely not cooked all the way through. And the stir it around, make sure we rotate. And we're gonna make sure every space is covered again. Make sure it's evenly. Okay, we're gonna wait for another five minutes and see what happens. It has been another five minutes. It seems like they're fully cooked through. I am going to let this cook for another five minutes so that the water will evaporate. Just move it around a bit. And we should be good. Okay. Five more minutes. This is just for frozen stuff, okay? Remember, frozen vegetables, you just want to treat this really, really smart. So be right back. Five minutes. Remember, I lifted up the lid just so the water can evaporate. Yay! This is good. We are going to take this all out and put it in a separate bowl because we're going to be cooking the bacon. Super important part, the bacon. I know, this is going to be tedious to watch all day, so I'm going to cut to what we have to do with the bacon. Alright, now that that's done, we are going to... I don't clean up the pan. You can if you want to, but it probably has some vegetable goodness flavors to it. Um, we are going to use a different type of oil. You don't have to use this one, olive oil. I just like mixing it up. And this oil is super important. We're going to put a little bit more because when we fry the bacon, this is going to be the bacon flavored oil that will fry the rice. And that is super important. So I like to scrape around, try to make sure everything gets moved around. I get the stuff that's been sticking here on. And let's put this bacon on. Let's see. I think we need a scissor. I'm gonna cook all of this. If it wants to come out of this packaging. Oof. And you don't need to cook with the lid on, you wanna cook with the lid off. Uh, you can feel free to use any kind of bacon, turkey bacon, anything. I don't think these are gonna fit unless we move some over. It's also interesting when the bacon like shrinks. I have two pieces in my hand. I still like my bacon crispy. <laughs> Is that very American of me? I don't know. Let's see if I can make room for the last two. And then I'm going to go wash my hands. I guess that's what I have to do.
I also like to cook with these three, I don't know, what is it called? Like, <laughs> giant tongs, I'm about to say giant tweezers. Flip them around. I love seeing this bacon, this grease coming off. We want it crunchy. Now we just have the eggs to beat the eggs. So we have that all prepared, which we'll do next. And I actually found out that we do have garlic, so I'm gonna just toss in that garlic as well. So we're gonna have to chop the garlic and also beat the eggs. We also have to dice the bacon. So once all that is done, then the magic happens when you throw everything one by one. I could just sit here all day long just watching bacon cook. <laughs> Alright, I think this is pretty good. So I'm going to turn off my stove right now. I'm gonna keep it sitting here for it to cook a little bit longer. But mind you, I turn off the stove. We're gonna cut the garlic and beat the egg. Yeah, beat it up. I was grabbing the onion. I didn't realize we had garlic. I'm gonna use all of this. This garlic is totally different from the garlic I'm used to, and I'll show you guys why. Usually I would I would go like smash, but um, interestingly enough, when you cut it in half, this garlic is one whole thing. Is a garlic I'm used to it being like increments, like wedges, just like oranges are. But this garlic is one whole garlic. Mine blown. I don't know if I'm peeling this correctly, <laughs> but it's getting the job done. We're going to cut off the little uh, the little booty that's sticking out over there. And I'm using all the garlic because I don't want it to sit around. And we have a lot of rice, so we haven't cut the butts off, so we're going to cut the butts off. Put it over here in the corner. And this is going to be put into the bacon oil to make it garlic bacon flavor. Oof, sounds really good right now. And I have a separate cup for this. So I like putting everything very orderly, put it in a cup so you can just toss it in. No questions asked when you're like cooking. There's a lot of things going on. So I'm gonna try to chop it as finely as possible. Um, you can also use like, food processor if you want to do it faster there's like the slap and chop <laughs> haven't used that there's also i like using the garlic press which you don't have to cut <laughs> it's, just, it's like a mush it makes things really fast it's really interesting to clean up and be careful not to cut my little fingers off just be really careful I do both at the same time. <laughs> I'm not gonna cut any more towards my fingers. Pile it up here. Hope you guys like garlic. Again, if you don't like it, don't put it in. I love garlic. I'm gonna probably add extra garlic powder as well. get all the stuff I, I like to do this pile it back up and we're gonna cut again hopefully we'll get every single one and if we don't we don't if you do you do if we're not being graded this is for us to eat a num num
I'm pretty thorough with the way I cook because again, I want really good fried rice for leftovers, nothing to worry about. So the more time you spend on this, the better, especially on a weekend when you have time. If you don't, then I understand you just like tossing things as you go, but I find that not being prepared and doing this, taking your time, you might come with a meh version and you won't be too happy about it. Okay, I'm gonna put this away and then we're gonna dice our bacon and then beat the eggs up. Ready for the bacon? Here's the one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm like shaking it off in the pan. <laughs> um, what I would do is just pile them up a little so I can chop it all at once. It is still hot. Hot, hot, hot. And like everything else, you want to have it bite size if possible. I'm like hitting the camera thing. I think this is diced up enough. We're gonna put it into this bowl and beat the eggs. As I said, beat the eggs, beat the eggs. Gonna break the eggs. Hopefully I break them pretty well. Do you guys have any issues breaking eggs? I used to have so many issues uh, having the shells fall in, which we, I just saw one. <laughs> Still do it in as an adult. Alright, we're gonna pour it in here. And if I see it again, I'll take it out. If not, someone's gonna have a surprise. Alright. Yes. Alright, I'm gonna wash my hands. If you want to season the eggs here, you can if you want to. And you don't need to eat it too crazy, honestly. As long as it's kind of mixed, it doesn't really matter. I'll show you guys what I mean in a bit. And I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of pepper. <laughs> a little bit, a lot. Also, add uh, whenever I'm making omelet, I like to add soy. Just a little bit of soy into my omelet mixture before putting it on the pan. And you can add a little sugar to make it a little bit sweet too. All right, now here is the big cooking time. I'm going to put it a little bit above medium. This turns on. I'm going to put it at six. Let it heat up. Um, and then we can toss the garlic in. And get your rice ready. I also like using, um, I like getting a wooden spoon to cook as well so you can take that as well if you need help i'm gonna need extra help because it's gonna be a lot of rice 
and use this as well. When I feel like the heat coming off, I'm going to just toss all this now. Oh, that's a lot of garlic. It's okay, I love garlic. We're also going to add this extra ingredient. Oops. <laughs> There's a lot. I'm going to also add a little bit more butter. Because we have a lot of rice to cook. Put some butter into this mixture. And I was told by people to use some kind of stock. I, I wanted to get vegetable stock, but we have chicken stock in. We're going to break this up on the side and add this to the rice. Like a little spoon and just break it apart while we wait. I was told this is a great way to season your rice. So let's see how true this is. Chicken stock cube. Better be some good stuff. I'm thinking like maybe that's a way to not salt it. And there's so much from this. That's from the bacon that was sticking to the pan. If you see that, <laughs> that's turning a little bit brown. Right, I'm gonna add a little bit more butter because I want the butter to be covering the bottom entirely. Remember, I have a lot of rice that this is going to be displaced. And then get your rice ready. Get your rice ready. Alright, so with leftover rice, I would break it apart. I'm doing off to the side and I'm like breaking it and then it makes it easier to toss in because right now I feel like it's a good time to toss it in I'm trying to toss it in slowly because you don't want the oil to splash at you this sit for a quick moment. Alright, we're gonna flip this over and rotate the rice so it's all covered with this yummy goodness. My dog is like sitting nearby, he's like, oh my god, this looks so good. It smells really good. So the rice is slowly getting heated back up, which is great. Like this one is still solidified. But yeah, we want to have every single rice covered with this bacon, butter, oil, goodness, the garlic. I could just eat garlic fried rice, honestly. <laughs> this would be fine. Yeah, I'm, I like to cook the rice first, 
because I want it to have all these seasoned flavors. I don't want to mess with it once we put our ingredients in. It's a little hard to get your uh, control over the rice. All right, now we're gonna season it with this as well. Hope this mixes well too. Which is why I, I like to do this, just controlling it. This is a good time to also taste your rice once everything is mixed really well. So you can be like, hmm, do I need more pepper? Do I need more salt? Try this now that I think a lot of it is mixed in. I'm going to try a little. Okay, we don't even need to salt that. I don't even, you don't even need to put any um, soy sauce, actually. This is the first time I'm not gonna use soy sauce because there is way too much like. It's already salted with the garlic and stuff. I think the pepper is what we needed. And if you want to make it spicy, I mean, feel free to throw in anything. Alright, so the, with the eggs, this is my favorite thing to do. I make like a little dome here. And then I incorporate the rice once I think it's a little bit um, cooked. Okay. I have a dome. Put the egg here. I'm gonna go in here and stir it around so it's cooking around. Stir it around. And there'll be a point where you will start mixing the rice and the egg. Once there seems to be a, a lot less, uh, I guess, liquid egg, you can start mixing it in, and it's going to turn the rice yellow, which I love. And this also, the rice that's on the edge is right now getting crispified. Okay, this is a great time. We're going to mix it in. I'm going to have some rice that's yellow. Let's put some color into it. Again, a lot of people make their fried rice very differently, so there's no right or wrong way, it's just preference. Alright, we're going to let this cook for a little bit, make it crispy, and then we toss in everything, it's going to be like a symphony, just... Okay, we're going to flip it. Dog sneeze too, bless. Everybody's sneezing. What is 
going on here? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit and then we flip. What I'm looking for is for the egg to be all cooked out. I want the rice to be, again, slightly dry. Not too dry, but like dry, not wet. So I wanna make sure this, this is like this before we incorporate more items in. Because the items are gonna make the rice a little bit more wet. So I like my rice a little bit more dry, fried rice, even just rice in general. I think the only time I like my rice kind of like wet-ish, I guess, is um, kanji, which is rice porridge. Then it's fine. Then it's okay. Almost ready to incorporate stuff. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna add in is probably her vegetables. That really needs to be incorporated. The frozen vegetables are gonna come in second. First is the ones that haven't been cooked, which is the onion and the lettuce. So these need to go in first. The onions really need to be cooked. Now we have to slowly incorporate this in. Now you see what I'm talking about with the two spoons, right? Make way for us. I think I might have to just use one. So once we incorporate this into our rice, then we can start adding other mixtures in. I think since the vegetables, the frozen vegetables are cooked already, we don't have to worry about it as much. That might be towards the end with the bacon. We're going to put in the spam in, I think, next. So next is the spam. Now you can see how this fried rice is growing. It is gonna be huge. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't need to salt this really. We're gonna have to have another taste later, but I doubt we need salt or soy. I like I try to cook without salt. I think it's like the way my parents raised me. It's just I don't know why. They just think salt is really bad. So they like to pull flavoring from natural things if possible. And if not, you know, obviously use soy and salt. But uh, I really like fried rice when it's very colorful as well. And it's starting to come together, doesn't it? Okay, well, once the spam has been fully incorporated, now, next, we're going to put the bacon, actually. Again, feel free to make a vegetarian version or a vegan version. Okay, <laughs> a piece of spam fell down, so I just put it in my dog's bowl. And don't worry, I did not have any onion or garlic because it was just in the spam bowl, the uncooked spam bowl. And be careful about the rice burning on the bottom. That's why you see me like pushing it in and out. And people do also love like burnt rice. That shit's really good too. Alright, now that we got the bacon incorporated, I think pretty well mixed. 
You can do this just with bacon. You don't even need spam. I wanted to use spam because we had that in our house. I'm going to add this a little at a time because it seems like it's going to be too crazy if I add it way too fast. Alright, this is a big reason why I try to cook things in advance with the frozen stuff. You can see how crazy this is getting. We're going to add all of it in. Now what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to turn this off for now and we're going to put half of it into uh, into this for leftovers and I'm going to add more veg into this one as well so that way it'll be mixing and I'm going to have to worry about using too much, um, too much rice into the pan right now. So I'll incorporate it in that. That means we'll have leftovers which is great. But damn, this looks good. But look at it, it's so lovely. Oof, looks so good. Alright, we're gonna transport half of this into here. I'll just show you, this is how much I have, and this is gonna, there's gonna be probably another little, littler box. And then we'll eat the rest, and I'll show you guys how to do this. I'm gonna add the rest of this, and I'll show you how to measure out when you want to eat it, because you might over make too much for yourself. All right, so we're not, the stove's not on. We're gonna just add this, mix the rest, and then show you guys how to measure out the right quantity to eat. And you can pack away the rest without worrying. Okay. Now we have evenly added the all yumminess in. Okay, you can also taste a little bit of this. It definitely does not need soy. I don't think it needs salt, but I can see some people adding a little bit more, but the salt from the spam and the garlic onion, and plus with the bacon and the garlic, it definitely seasons this, so you don't need that. I think the one thing I would add more is just like, a bit of pepper to taste. So my palate might be a lot different from yours. Add a little bit more. And what's the great thing about making fried rice again from your leftovers is putting on the pan and then adding seasoning as you're cooking, which is great. Okay. Now, grab your favorite bowl or plate that you like to eat from. I like to eat from a bowl. So I'm going to have two bowls prepared. Two people are eating it. We need salt. So to measure it out, I'm going to preemptively scoop this in. This is portioning, I guess, in a sense. And there's actually a lot more rice. Uh, I mean, not rice. There's a lot more vegetables and protein, meat, in here. I think that's a good portion. I'll show you it from the side so you can see how it looks. <coughs> Time for the second bowl. And you know how much you can eat. And I hope you can ask the other person, hey, how much do you eat? Because we're going to do something cool to it. Not too cool. Yep. I guess this is the rest. This actually can fit into that box. I haven't filled it up. I'm gonna put it away into that box. I'm gonna put away the butter, don't you worry. This is going to sit out here. You're gonna have to wait until this cools down before you put it in the fridge. And these are how big the bowls are. Pretty big. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little cover on just so it can steam out some stuff, but within reason. I didn't clean it out completely because we're going to toss this back in because now we know how much portion I'm going to go get the cheese. Use whatever cheese you want. We have some mozzarella to use. I'm not going to use a lot of it, but you'll see what I do. I really, again, I stress this a lot. I like my rice. Pretty, not too dry, again. 
have it on six, which is a little bit above. Now that we have a smaller portion to work with, it's gonna be super easy. We're gonna let it fry up a bit. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Get some crunchy rice on the bottom. And again, you should taste it a bit if you want to make sure it has the flavor that you want. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. And I might put some garlic powder. Pull this around. <laughs> Wait for the rice to cook up. And while that is happening, we're going to let it sizzle, sizzle, right? We are going to add a bit of cheese. You don't have to do this, this is just me. And certain uh, Hong Kong fusion places put cheese <laughs> on top of rice. They often bake it. I'm going to put a bit of this. I'm going to let it sit. And this is something I would only do if I'm about to eat the rice. That's why I didn't put it in the leftovers because it just it's not as good. Wait, right, just sizzle, sizzle. And if you're bored and you don't like waiting around a lot, you should do some exercises. Like you can squat, you can probably do jumping jacks, so that means you're doing something. Once you think it's sizzled enough, you can start. rotating it around. See the cheese is melting everything. So we're going to just let this sit here again, let it sizzle sizzle. And then we can plate. It already has some stuff in it because remember I wanted to measure out how much portion we needed. So that's what's good that what that is. I'm gonna carefully scoop this into here. It's hard being neat and scooping in fried rice. Alright, I'm going to bring the other bowl just so I can measure it correctly. Okay, and then I'll just even it out and I'll show you guys the end result. So here's the fried rice all done. And we have a big thing of this to go in the fridge. We're gonna have to try this out. So I usually eat this with a spoon because it's so much easier. Okay, I don't know if this is a great angle. 
and yes, I'm wearing something. I just have a tank top on. All right, let's try this. Hmm. <laughs> this is so good. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys try this um, out. Let me know how it goes if you do get to try it. I know <laughs> Sal's over there wants to try it. Uh-huh. You want to come over here? Yes. Hungry. All right, let's see what his reaction is. All right. Is it with bacon? Yeah, and spam. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Is it? No, I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. You can go and eat and play your little video games. What about you? I'm going to go eat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know, again, if you guys decide to make this or you want to learn other stuff that I make. And obviously everyone makes their stuff differently, so. Bye!